Fnatic versus FaZe game two. So uh, our loyal followers have told us that Fnatic lost to FaZe over two maps very recently elsewhere. So let's see if they can take back Cobble. Well, I was also, um, it was also pointed out to me that Flipside did manage to lose I mean, a, a cobblestone, 16-2 against FaZe recently. The thing is, though, is that um, FaZe, sorry, rather, um, Flipside, they're without Bondic these days. They, they have Waylander instead. Obviously, Bondic went to Hellraisers, and that was a match played with Waylander instead of Bondic. And Bondic forever was their best cobblestone player. Forever mm. he was their best cobblestone player, especially on the CT side. So for me, it's, it's not necessarily... Well, it is surprising because I feel like FaZe is not a team that is necessarily going to be good at taking those 16 twos, like those big score lines. Maybe you know, they can take the wins, but to take those score lines, you've got to be really efficient um, on, on playing the advantages in anti-force players and stuff like that and anti-ecos. Uh, but I guess they must have just had like a stonker of a game. So really curious to see if FaZe have just been able to make some improvements lately on top of the fact that some teams like Fnatic and, and, uh, and uh, Flipside have essentially sort of like a stand-in situation, even though their, team, their players are playing for the team, obviously they're, they're newly integrated. So FaZe able to take advantage and fair play to them. Let's see if they can do it again against Fnatic here as we kick things off on map two. FaZe won the first map. If you missed it, Mirage, can Fnatic bring themselves back? There are a lot of issues here with that Olaf Meister, and I'm afraid for Fnatic. James. Well, FaZe have gone for a quick A flank, and that's going to be a full rotation into the, the B area. The question is, will the, will the flanker just lurk, or will he go for the full push? Because that might give the game away and cause a rotation back. JW is waiting for the flank to come in, and uh, here it is. So Rain coming in for the back, but Fnatic are committed to the site. They're on the site now, and there is a player on Chicken Coop. The frag's going away of FaZe at the moment. Kishima around the smoke. Only AZ's gone down for the tease. They're a bit lost at the moment. The bomb's on the floor. Pleasant's doing what he can towards Chicken Coop, but he does not have much in the name of support. Goes for the decoy. Fake flashbang, but doesn't really work out for him. He's down as well, leaving Crims alone versus four. So not the start Fnatic wanted. FaZe off to a rip-roaring start. So the problem I see for Fnatic, one of the issues I see for them, is that... Olaf Meister almost sort of, um, well, he really showed what could be possible if you have a star player basically playing down B plat in the defaults of the T side, right? Because the defaults will often feature that one guy down there, and he was so good at doing that. And part of it is not just being an aim star, it's actually being a smart player as well and really understanding how the CTs can set up, all the varieties of setups and timings, how to bait out grenades and how to survive and, pr and prioritize that whilst maximizing harassment and trying not to die. Th there's a lot of stuff going on there, and that's what Olaf Meister used to do on, on the B Plateau for Fnatic in their defaults. Now I'm curious who will fulfill that role or if that role will be essentially omitted from the defaults of Fnatic, whether they will try a different sort of approach. As Envious have been trying, for example, Envious have put Happy and uh, they have a a, a, a buddy system sort of thing going on with Happy and MBK. So instead of just one guy, they've got kind of two guys working on the harassment there in their defaults. So we'll have to see how the adaptation comes in on the buy round. But perhaps Fnatic, even though they have no nades, maybe they can just hit these shots here with the force buy. <laughs> one towards long. <laughs> for Fnatic and one towards lower. Just biding their time. This is a force buy from the uh, T side. Pleasant is creeping up, but the bomb is headed towards B, and he will get taken down by no less than the P90. Two frags though coming in for the uh, T side. AZ was going to thin the numbers out, but he will be taken down himself. And uh, that P90 is going to be crucial. Crims all looking for the one deep here. Had the one versus one, but Jacob with the P90 will find three frags. Bomb down the though. The P90 of glory. The P90 of truth yeah. and other things. I mean, Fnatic, obviously, they force sport, so they won't have money in this next round. But the bomb plant is really nice. That actually gives the opportunity to let us maybe even get some deagles this round. They could, tr oh, they're going to go for the force. That is that is uh, very, very cool to see, actually. Jay Windwalker, Waker, Wind Waker, not even Windwalker. He's not the walker of the wind. He, He's awake. I don't know. Wrap it up, mate. Come on. Away. 
It's going to be JW on that sawn off that he is so well known for. Absolutely must be going drop zone. Is that a Zelda reference? Might I be. want to say it's a Zelda reference. I, I, I'm sure producer Reese knows. He like has no cool. education, Dan. His education He just Zelda. played games, so he knows the answer. I'm sure he does. Really? <laughs> Like how you just like, he has no education. I, I could be I could be wrong about that. Oh wow! I like how AZ jumped kind of to the side towards the fire, maybe expecting that his opponent would actually be looking to, for him to jump away from the fire, which is actually quite smart. Nice little detail there from AZ, but he still got wrecked. I don't think there's a spot. I don't think there's a way not to get wrecked there. <laughs> so it's okay. It's all good. I thought Zelda was a green guy, but apparently that's the princess girl. I'm probably pissing people off by saying that. Yeah. I don't think Mixing I've... up the Link in the Zelda's. Link is the green... Book. Well, is it a Wind Waker? I know it is. All right, never mind. Reece... Okay, yeah, Reese can fellas told you he had no education, Dan. See? He's a, game. He's a geek. He's got gamer education. Yeah. Shut up. Oh, he said he had a degree. Okay, maybe I was lying. So, the teams are pushing the uh, B-bomb site now. There's one player there for, for the FaZe team. Again, it is FaZe, a man down. But they still have the superior weaponry for the time being. That said, there are two AKs on the T side. So Pleasant has been taken down from the drop area. We've got flashes, flashing the T's and the CT's. Who will see first? JW will be, will be blinded permanently for the round. Down to three versus three now. The P90's coming in, but Jacob's finally going to be eliminated and the bomb will get planted. Bomb has been planted. Uh, two versus three. Pretty tough here for FaZe. This boss bite is definitely paying off right now. And uh, with some Fox with the P90. He would have picked up another frag here. Goes down for the trade though. And this is doable here for Kiyoshima. Absolutely doable. In comes the M4, the spray, the box, the, the Heidi play from Fla Flusher is eventually going to be sought out and punished by Kiyoshima. Going in with the USP now. Whoa. Pressed to action by the time, by lack of kit. And there you go. The Atlantic will steal the round away with the force buy. And uh, FaZe might actually force buy straight back right now because... I don't know, it's, it's, it's actually an interesting call because uh, the two players did have quite a, quite a lot of money actually. So if they would have full saved, they actually could have uh, bought back. The only issue then is that they give Fnatic a free round to build money. But as you can see, so many players from Fnatic died, that really incentivizes FaZe to go for the force buy. Because if they somehow win this, they reset Fnatic straight away. So that is the uh, main reason I think they've gone for this. But the fast play potentially is worrisome. There might be some worry here from FaZe. They feel the presence of the Swedish beasts approaching the B-bomb site. Indeed, only one rifle on the remaining players. There's a two-man push towards A as well, so the face team are quite split up. They are susceptible to trades at present. Crimson are looking for the inevitable, perhaps, push from FaZe, but indeed FaZe are not going to go all the way there. And that was one of the rifles taken in that direction. They do indeed now have two rifles rather than one. As they move away, Crims is starting to head towards Long A. So perhaps he'll be on a fact-finding mission before Fnatic commits to the B bomb site here, the rotation is still possible for the side. And you can see him starting to back up just a little bit. Good timing as well. Kishima trying to get a bit leery with a 5-7. Yeah, not really catching much yet. And he will in fact die. So Rain, J Kem and AZ. If Rain is alive, there is always hope. As he can always create something. Okay, here we go. It's like Fnatic are kind of getting ready now to go in, waiting for Crims to get in position, as you can see on the flank. Once he's in there, they can go in, but they're actually, if Rain's going to take down Flusher, this is actually, the waiting is going to be problematic. The jump, the spray, how on earth does Crims not get a crack there? That's a really, really important play for FaZe. If FaZe win this round, oh my goodness, Fnatic are in a lot of trouble. JW, all he has is a sawn off. Maybe he can swap out for a rifle. Is there one on the floor here for him to pick up before he goes for the face? He's been spotted now. This is awful right here for Fnatic. The only hope is that is the fact that JW has the sawn off and they can force buy with it and he can lead the charge into the drop zone. The thing is, is that the force buy is is incentivized again due to the fact that their their money is so broken. They need to double eco to have a full buy anyway. So they might as well force buy one eco and then they can still have, have a full buy. So that's that's the reasoning. And there's a lot of players uh, in matchmaking that actually don't understand that or don't think about that dynamic and rage at me when I force buy, when I have my money's been broken. But uh, that is the reason if you were uninitiated into the economy of Counter-Strike. But uh, it's not going so well so far, James, for the Fnatic side at least. It is not. I actually thought they were going to rotate to the uh, to the A bomb site there, rather than the flank coming oh. in. 
but there we go. Vote Such past. Is life. Person's knife's called Vote Pass, James. It is. Though. It makes me think of Quake because Vote Pass is the same in Quake. My Glock is called Vote Pass. Is it really? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> my my USP is called Vote Pass and my Glock yeah. is called Vote Pass. This is why JW buys the Sawn Off. He is a beast. He picks up a weapon because of it, gets a lot of money. It is a really smart choice. It's really, really smart. And look at this, catching the CTs off by the side. Rain and Fox need to clutch again, but it's Rain. And he goes with the first frag. And he has a good, uh, good positioning here to get the extra aim battles. And he is going to crush, kill, and destroy James. Urian, very nice. Yes, get the fighting game references in there. Shoutouts to anyone in the stream who actually understood the reference there as well. My guys are actually commentating the Red Bull Kumite in Paris at the moment, uh, where I would have been if we didn't have scheduling now. But uh, they were doing they were doing imperson impersonations of me oh, really? on the stream. So, so I've heard. Were they just saying down all the time? I look forward to to seeing them later, possibly. Well, phase with a uh, a three round lead at the moment. Fnatic fans must be a little bit worried. Do you, like, do you like foliage shapes? Not as much as Jacob appears yeah, it's to. It's baseball foliage shapes. I haven't climbed, climbed the tree for a very long time there. Oh. I apologize for interrupting you with my- Since I was a boy. My fervor of foliage, foliage fervor. I find large shops that sell plants tend to sell fish as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's so random that you bring up that fact, it's amazing. I used to try to climb trees. I lived in the, in the countryside for quite some time. I used to use clay instead of Lego as well. Yeah. Hey, there's, there's trees. There's a natural clay. You know that you can construct things from clay, right? That you can you can bind objects. I know what clay is, clay, Dan. James. I yeah. know what clay is. Yeah, why, why are you making fun of me? Because it's fun to make fun of you. Oh, well, I had Lego as well as of the clay. As but you clay. preferred clay. Uh, clay was... The... Oh, did you make Lego from clay? Next level. Vice Cup coming up for both teams again. We've got an AWP onto both sides as well. We'll see how JW chooses to use his. I mean, you can use the AWP like a shotgun in the drop, but obviously it is high risk. If you don't hit the shot straight away, there's a fair chance you're going to die. He is going to be lurking outside A for the time being. Pretty much a standard hold here for the T side. You can get good timings with a HE as well through that door for any uh, insanely aggressive CTs. A minute 20 on the clock here, and Fnatic are just biding their time, waiting for that smoke and drop to disappear so the harassment can begin. Almost reminds me of um, Flipside versus Mouse Sports at the moment. <gasps> Fox! God, dire. Sometimes nothing goes your way, Dan. Sometimes you get Sometimes wrecked. you want Lego, but you get provided with clay. That's, that's true. That's true. Ooh. I was lonely, okay, James. Uh, I'm not judging at all. In the woods. I think Clay's cool. One man down for the uh, CT side, but the trades are coming in. Four versus two now. The, the tree position continues to be a very powerful one for CT sides. Even sometimes when you have limited money on a T side, they won't really go for that Molotov for the tree position when they go for a fast play, but I think it's always worth it, even if you have to skin on two flashbangs. So on the site are the final plays. JW with a nice sweeping shot onto Rain there, but AZ is causing problems. JW trying to get Flash to dance for him. Ooh, gives AZ a bit of a haircut there, but we've got 14 seconds and three CTs to find. What does JW do? Does he commit to the fight here and die on his sword, or does he retreat? Seems that he will uh, try to... Well, he is going to save, basically, but he is uh, trying to do it in the smartest way possible. Is, what is that Elder one? Oh no. Oh my god. There we go. And he survives as well. Wow. Nice. The name of his AWP is Elder, Elder one. one. sounds that... a bit Lord of the Rings. It's, it's, what is... Sounds a bit World of let's Warcraft. Get, let's get Reese on this. I've never, I've never played World of Warcraft, right? But there was one dream hack where I just saw a guy. I think he was like a horse or something. And he, he was, was just, a horse. And he was just like Minotaurian. galloping around the world, not doing anything in particular. He was just an animal in the, in a field, basically. All right. He may as well have been playing Goat Simulator then. So six to one now. It's still early days in this match, which feels in this game, uh, which feels like it's been going on forever because we've had quite slow rounds. JW that saves AWP off to a good start, but that good start is soon shut down by Jake and Nate. I have a, I have a fear that you, the the play, I did I know the place that you saw that. Was it because this is really sad if it's true? Was it QuakeCon? 
Producer Reese says, L the Wand was a Deathly Hallow from Harry Potter. God damn, what a nerd. Um, okay, okay, I actually, I actually read the books. No, I don't think it was QuakeCon, I think it was years okay, ago. Thank God. Yeah. Because I've seen people playing MMOs at QuakeCon, which makes me incredibly sad these days. To I, was, I was told under no uncertain terms to not be seen playing Counter-Strike at QuakeCon. I observed those terms then. Anyway, Fnatic are moving very quickly over towards the B bomb site here. Safety in numbers, the name of the game, but a bomb is moving forward towards the tree position, and now it's been lost. That is really bad for Fnatic, but he's got a man advantage now. Jacob looking for a two man spray down. Will he even get one? No. Flush is going to take out Crims as well. I was not a nade, sorry. No, it's a gun in their face. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. So, Fox <laughs> with two to find. And that smoke goes down. Pretty horrible timing. Is he brave enough to just walk through the smoke? The nade going to flush his position, not going to make any connection whatsoever. I do wonder if he was just heard there. He's chosen to jump back out, but he's, good, but he's heard it. Oh, that nade is glorious. The re smoke as well. I think sometimes you have to gamble. Uh, well, let's see what happens here first. Nice shot there by Fox, straight into the face of JW. This is doable now for the European star, but flusher, 40 HP. Fox has a hit as well, but he will not be able to get the final kill. Did some good work though, and the Fnatic double their score there. It must feel weird for Fnatic to, to, to lose. Seven of nine rounds on the CT side is a fantastic start for FaZe. It is, yeah. And they've got money, they're coming back with a vengeance. But will they Bruce Willis these fools then? That's a question. I don't know. I'm not sure if it, you know, we'll have to see. We do have the Sauna back onto JW. However, the team is moving, apart from JW, towards the A site. JW will have a fast split attempt here through the drop area, but he will not be able to connect with the Sawn off. Instead, it will be Rain connecting with his M4, but the push has now arrived onto the A site. The retake is in progress here by the CTs, but how much are they going to get done here? They have to push through the smoke points that are the smoke points, the choke points that are available to them that are not smoked off, of which there are few right now. And that makes life awkward. Four versus four, and they all want to get through the same trade points. If you've ever played retakes, this is this is annoying. Yeah, there are so many angles for them to contest with. I wonder, I think it would be reasonable to call for the save, the four-man save. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think they should have called for the four-man save because what can they, I mean, Look at their money now, they have to eco. They could have saved four, four rifles in that round. Yeah, they would have had a much better chance to win a round now with the, what the four weapons than they would have had at the retake there. I think percentages wise, I don't think they it's were even in a close. Very bad spot there. Yeah. Very bad spot. Because if you say, like, if you, if you see, like, the, if you observe the relative strength before the bomb's gone down for them to win rounds, it's probably like, you know, already eight, you know, 60 to 80 percent, whereas that is going to be much, much lower than that. Yeah, and the implications of of this happening basically versus saving the four rifles in terms of the potential for rounds to be lost etc i really do think that they made a, a a big mistake there well it is uh it's the style of phase james get in there and shoot people in the head that's how they play the game live by the sword die by the sword it's a way of life i can respect oh back on the bike quickly Fnatic though with four rounds on the board and momentum in their favour. We'll see if they if their confidence can be broken by phase or if Fnatic will continue their march. Sornoff continues for JW, and that is a uh Sornoff for the ages. We'll see if he can put some of these uh phase players in the photo book. The photo album, photo collection. Then to start things off though, Jacob's going to try and stay alive, waste time, allow his team to rotate. Playing around the smoke, he's got three AKs trained on his position. The CT's coming in with huge frags here. Dennis alone with 12 HP, two versus one. Now he can do this, but the bomb is nowhere near him. Coming through the smoke, he's going to get wrecked. Phase back to winning ways. Fnatic reset, although they could have enough money for the buy. Indeed they do. They have loads of money actually. It's. Uh... It's all about uh, FaZe stopping them right here and then. I mean, because if FaZe obviously lose this, they're down to an eco, and you, but you can actually see Fnatic getting up to seven rounds all of a, all of a sudden. All of a sudden. And uh, I think, you know, f like you say, I think the major mistake was for FaZe to not save the four rifles. I think, I think you could always go back to that moment and everything looked really solid until that point. And then they really let, they start to let Fnatic back into the match. However, FaZe can, of course, get it done. We'll have to see. 
if they can uh, pull it out of the Bosh. bag here. So, yeah, good nades. Good nade indeed doesn't help matters. Good nade and good night that. Yeah, I'll see you later, Flusher. And it's really annoying to, to lose Flusher because early in the round, because Flusher is actually, I think, probably has been the most consistent player in, across the series. And maybe generally, he is damn good. But uh, we do have the occupation now from the tees into the drop zone. This could be the play. This is where everything... This is the pivotal moment here for Fnatic. And the snap from JW, the spray from JW. Two kills found in unlikely fashion. One health point remains. JW may have just given a chance for his team. Plus unable to get the one versus one against Fukushima. And it should be all over here for FaZe in this round. And that means that Fnatic, I think, have a strong chance to get six or seven on the board. Fnatic playing the catch-up game. Fox, the last to go down, but he will, he does go down. So now it's FaZe who have been reset straight back and obviously they had a lot less in the bank after the uh, difficult previous rounds, the difficult rounds prior. So indeed then, I think 7-8 is extremely likely. Now Dennis going for the AWP, JW on the AK. JW top fragging for his team, 13 frags for him. The thing is playing anti-force by against FaZe is one of the most, they're probably one of the most annoying teams to play anti-force by against because of the skill factor. And boom, skill factor, engage James, two frags the weight of phase, and they're already making life difficult and the rotations are coming in, the one-on-ones are being found here by the pistols and it's getting awkward, very awkward, however Flusher will get some assistance there, uh, from, or rather JW will get some assistance from, from Flusher and the site will be taken away. Now Rain and uh, AZ are left alive, they haven't been able to pick up any rifles, two of which are on the floor, but uh, Rain is going to keep finding these flags! And that could be the AK there, but he's going to get more damage with the CZ. Oh! Rain again going in, getting the jumping frag there, finishing off the player. Now it's Flusher against two. What a situation on our hands here. Flusher able to spray down the very weak in Rain and get the clutch for the 4K. But what a ridiculous display from both sides. In particular, Rain. That guy is he's one sneaky bugger, James. I'm equipping a CZ as soon as this game is finished. Then. I told you, man. On the CT side. I, I told you, C CZ is king on CT. 57 is for noobs, James. But I put LDLC stickers on my, on my blue jacket. I don't give a damn. LDLC don't even have a team anymore, James. Well, they do, and they're playing in the qualifier for the major today, Dad. Well, well, we'll see how that goes. Molotov's coming out for the Swedish team. Can they make it to 7-8? They had a bit of a disastrous start, but they have had a glorious comeback. Although they, the job is uh, not even halfway done here. Pistols out again for FaZe. You would know that they're dangerous with them, and there's another example. More CZ to come though, but the spray down will be real. Rain will receive the garden hose. A bit too far for JW to get the kill on that occasion and Jaken will come in for the one tap. So things looking good for FaZe, although they still haven't picked up any rifles. Crims will bring things back to two versus two. Bomb has not been seen as it was left on the ground. And FaZe are going to gamble, well, I was going to say towards the B site, but in fact, they have chosen to split up. They can fix up a, uh, a sworn off. Congratulations to him. And Jaken's gonna go down, leaving Fox alone versus two. Fox isn't too far away. Dennis is already picking up the angle though, but he's got to look at, uh, well, never mind, he spots Fox towards the drop. And that bomb is going to get planted, but it won't be required. Seven to eight, Fnatic take the last round, the last three rounds. Jacob, Rain, and JW on 14 frags, flush and not hop far behind. Who's going to take it then? It has been a quite a comeback, and it honestly, for me, it does come back to that save moment. To save or not to save. Okay, there's that choke point smoked off. There's a balcony that's on fire. I think we should go for this anyway. There's, even though those are our two only options. I mean, had they had somebody like, let's say, A long or something, or, or in to get a 1v1 or cause a distraction or, or someone at, at mid, then, then okay, you know, sure. But the fact that they were all on one angle and, and there's no choke points to move through, that's what made that really, really clear, I think. And uh, here comes Pistol Flusher. Able to execute only a single man, Bosch. but there are more Boshes Bosch. here. The Bish Bash Bish and bash, perhaps... Bosh, Bingo Bango Bongo, but the other way around, Dan. Bingo Bango Bongo, Bish Bash Bosh. All right. Oh, the frags there. Fnatic, good start for them. See a couple of MP, MP9s and MP7. And 
They just have to survive the Force Buy. There are no nades with this Force Buy. Faze are going to go for the pure, pure wreckage with those pistols. Just get the shots into the bodies, into the heads, into the Fnatic players, hopefully, and not their own. Nice cover there. MP9 party, and you're all invited. Two kills for the MP9s. Crim's coming in with the MP7 and then the USP. So it's Kiyoshima versus Sweden. I'm sure Sweden always do better than France in the Eurovision Song Contest. Those Scandinavian countries. Always yeah. go, they always go huge for Eurovision Song Contest, Dan. Yeah, they do. I never watched that, though, but... I know, I know uh, Peter I'll, Reese always tells me that he has... He goes to, like, viewing parties. I'll never watch it again post-Wogan. Rest in peace, sir. Mr. Wogan was the glory of the Eurovision Song Contest, if you watched it in the UK. But he has passed. I'm proud to admit I've never seen a single Eurovision Song Contest. It was worth contest. it for Wogan, man. Wogan was a one-man commentary army. He was, he was an icon for us, Dan. We should watch it as research. I've never... I don't remember the last time I listened to him. Oh, Wogan Maybe I'll have to... At some point. In, I, the, in the future. I strongly, I strongly suggest it, Dan. Wogan was beast. Nine to eight. Not much between these two teams at present other than the weapon inventory which lies with Fnatic. FaZe find themselves on the eco and they should be trailing by a little bit more once this round has concluded. The double MP9s continue. The money makers. The paper printers. Crims has that, that uh, MP7. Good for the moving accuracy. The MP9 is actually quite reasonable to Whoa. jump with and still have accuracy. Where was that kill? I don't even that, know. That kill was at mid range in the middle of the MP9. So, fair enough. But they don't have head armor. That's the reason that it looks so ridiculous. Grim's getting in there now, and it should be a very, very solid clean up there. What can you do? You're a sandwich. You're sandwiched in between the CTs, and they've all got MP9s. What are you going to do? Trust me, try just try jumping around with the MP9. On paper, it's legit. Dan. On paper, it's legit. But what about on cobblestones? Yes, a test. That is cobobulous. Okay. 10 to 8. And Fnatic with a resurgence back into this map, into the series, which is pretty important because they lost map one. They lost map one against FaZe. They are lamenting this fact. They are trouble. What is going on? Ooh. What is going on? That is not a good start. That is the Orpa. It Indeed. He died. Indeed. That's a really nice start here for FaZe. Now, how can they capitalize upon it? How can they play this advantage? Flusher below with the MP9. I don't know if I like Flusher's position right now. And he's going to get completely destroyed by the AKs. And this is actually problematic to... Uh, they still have the MP9, maybe you know, going for the eco economic play, but to be honest, if FaZe, are, 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 if FaZe are able to string a couple rounds together, then that is a big, big problem for Fnatic. And in comes the push. Dennis, oh no, he pulls an 8 out at the wrong moment. Fox gets another frag. Five versus two right now. Plesson is spraying him down though. Two frags from him. And what else can he get done in this position? Looks like not too much. And Crims is on the wrong side of the doors with the AWP, perhaps. He's on the right side of the doors, James, because if he was on the other side of the doors, maybe he'd die and lose the AWP. But in this, this situation, he has the option to save it. And that might be, with three left alive, the better play, especially as there's still a, there is still a smoke on Kiyoshima. Ki Ki what? On Kiyoshima. I James, thought you were I, going to say Kirby's pinball. I, I have some issues with my speech, James, currently. I'm... I don't, I can't give I any progress, you issue, uh, progress reports. I wish you a hasty recovery, Dan. Yeah, there are issues right now. I wish you a recovery with haste. Also known as a hasty recovery. Right then. All right. I appreciate that. Terrorists win. So, it's, uh, it's time for round 20. Oh, stop. What are you, a bingo announcer? Giving it, giving darts it, announcer. Giving it a try. We need to go and watch the darts events, but more, to... more on that later. Ooh, we've got the Black Black, we've got the Ric Flair, we've got the dirtiest player in the game. Oh, right, we've tap, got the tap, CT tap. Auto Sniper. Almost never a viable buy on the T side, especially because it's not worth it purely for it the is. fact that if it goes into the CT's hand, it yeah, is oh, yeah. extremely 
more viable. It's also $5,500 James. That's a that's lot a, of dollars. That's a lot of money. That is many dollars. It's cash in the bank. It's cash that was in the bank. No longer in the bank then. All right, we have the long play coming in from phase. They are slowly clearing out this positioning, but will the CTs catch on? Will Fnatic catch on here? We get a bit of a, de a defensive incendiary, the fire, the flames burning away at the cobblestones, but the cobblestones will endure the flames. They have seen many years of torment and they can uh, withstand some more. But it looks like actually we get the rotation in from phase. So the thing is, is that I don't think phase, phase showed some presence, but I don't think that Fnatic from the presence that they showed could feel like it was a strong presence. Like it could just be one player, you know, for as far as Fnatic know, because they didn't really show anybody. And now we get the full rotation, but the question is still there in the minds of Fnatic of how many players are where, and they are playing very defensively. And that is important because if this auto sniper gets to just put shots in because he has distraction, then that's great. But you can see there, there's no distraction. They're all aiming at him and you'll only get one frag that is not worth the money. Fnatic are absolutely destroyed right now. Crims picks up the AWP. The fast snap is not good. That could have been the chance there for, for uh, Crims, but unfortunately, he's not going to make it happen. 10, 10 is instead the scoreline. And as you said, that was a lot of money spent on the auto sniper. It was an investment that has not come out for the CT side. In fact, it's been crushed. You could say it's money down the drain, Dan, similar yeah. to all the skins applied to my guns. Yep. 10 to 10, pair of 10s. What are those, James? I knew you were going to ask that. Oh my God. I, you baited me into I it. I know. So I had to do it. Because I, I, knew, I knew it would annoy you. <laughs> you just wrecked yourself somehow. I did. <laughs> oh my God. Amazing. Who are we? I don't know. So, Ke Flusher is the only man of Kevlar. Ooh, he's got a penetration kill onto the face of Jacob. <laughs> Ooh, off. Good start for Fnatic, but it is going to be a slow round, a round full of pe uh, pressure, suspense. A lot of pressure. Yeah. I need to alleviate the pressure. How can they do this? How can they do this, James? How can they release pressure? By winning rounds. That is the only way. Faze have uh, Molotov. That's the that's a good Molotov. It's an annoying position, but they may Can't lose their it, advantage. Though. Yeah, indeed, and the push is indeed coming in now. Down goes Pleasant up close. We've got three plays on the side. The double dink coming in there. Well, single dink from Dennis Meister and the follow-up. But the AKs are clearing house. House has been cleared. No more bed bugs, Dan. They've all been elimin eliminated. Eliminated. Bed bugs. I I fear ever experiencing that. You also feel I've had the stories. I, well, yes. <laughs> yes, but the bed bugs is, is probably a bit, I can have a little less control over the bed bugs thing. The uh, swimming of sharks, I can certainly avoid that unless you knock me out somehow and then you just drop me into the ocean. Hope you don't do that. Please don't do that. I have no intention of doing that anytime soon. That's a lot of effort, isn't it? There's a three man push from the phase team towards long A. Three man on road, while other man over towards the bomb site. But one man is rotating. One man is rotating. He's taking justice into his own hands, James. He's all alone towards the B plateau, doing it his way. But uh, he has not come up with much just yet. And to be honest, it is rain. So if there were was ever to be a vigilante on the team, it should be rain. The vigilante knows it's rain. Yeah. Well, he will precipitate chaos upon his assailants. They are posturing over towards A, R, D, T players, all but one. And we still have Crims playing close. I do hope that FaZe have a pop flash for this position. They have indeed Molotov, the left-hand side. But what about the right-hand side, guys? What about it, hey? JW's coming in for support as well. So commitment to that push from FaZe could have been a problem, but indeed they will rotate. Then it's facing the wall because Pleasant has the angle. And Dennis is waiting to turn around after the flashes have come in. Pleasant's position is good. The tree is very helpful with avoiding many flashbangs. Not all, but many. Ooh, interesting counter flash actually there as he expects to see running backwards. Doesn't get any flashes though, but JW, Dennis and Pleasant will all come in with frags. This hole is superb so far for Fnatic, looking to tie things up once again. AZ is going to get a very nice delayed shot through the door, straight into the head of JW. There are three more to find. He should go for the pusher. He's got 6k in the bank and the CTs can't afford to lose any weapons. But it appears he is going to choose to save. I don't know what the money's like for the rest of his team. 
And now we can see it. It's not as good as it is for him. So he can drop that gun to rain, and then the rest of the team can buy up. Yeah, the save so makes good, a lot of sense, decision. actually. Yeah. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, did they just win it around? They did, didn't they? Yeah, so... Yeah. So, yeah, his, his bonus would be... Like, he would lose a lot of money. He would lose, like, 4k there if he wouldn't save. So, nicely done. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And it's time for FaZe to... Start pressuring into the B plateau a little bit. We can see some nades here. Rain is going to go for it. He's going to do the Olaf Meister. Look at that bunnying. He's trying to get himself up there. Look at the oh, the timing on that smoke was sick from a teammate there to cover his his vantage point and allow Rain to play around the smoke. However, the issue with smokes like this is that if there's a tiny gap, the CTs will likely be looking in there as the tiny gap is highlighted in a sense by it being the only gap in a, in a large space. Ooh, the jumps, the spots, Rain's in trouble right now. He's going to frag his way out of trouble. And he's going to do that out of dodge right now with that frag. Will they keep peeking him here? Oh, the peek comes in. Did Rain get too greedy is the question. But he had teammates coming. So, to be honest, just holding position, you could argue that he did not. And, in fact, it's going to be very interesting now to see who comes out on top here. Dennis is going to go in right now, replacing the... Uh, the the, the, well, I don't think they ever had any CTs there, so actually going up there, very unexpected. Rain had just cleared this, and there is the tray coming in now. Two versus two, the CTs, the Fnatic side, are in trouble right now as the site is now occupied by the terrorist players of FaZe as they look to get the bomb planted, and they will indeed get that bomb planted. The, the, uh, time, the, the uh, time is going to be set upon the CTs now. It is ticking away and playing in favor of the phase players. But they're kind of pinned down at the moment. The wide peak coming in, and oh, JW no. and Crims will both be facing the angle. See you later, Mr. Phase guys. Ferris guys. See you later. In, see you in the next round. See you in the next round. Well, what is the financial situation now for the phase team? They are financed. The force is possible. Rain and Kirishima don't have enough for AKs. And the buy will be made by the phase team. So let's see, they're going to opt for the tech nines and nades over the gilils actually. That's actually pretty smart. I think that's better. It leaves the money in the bank to be contributed to further rounds as well, future rounds. Also, you can keep the AKs up on the plat and send the tech nines down to clear spaces quickly. Let's see how successful it'll be. In fact, actually, out of position is Fnatic. Look at how quickly FaZe will make their way onto the bomb side. They ha uh, have to be careful, though, FaZe, not to allow themselves to funnel into Plesson. Two frags from him already, and he is playing this position very, very well, actually. And now there's just nothing to do here for FaZe. They're going to get completely shut down. And they went for that buy because they knew that Fnatic had nothing in the bank. But now Fnatic, they have much in the bank. There is bank, and it is, it is full with much. So 13-11, Fnatic look, look like they're going to take map two here, to be honest. To be honest, James, Fnatic look pretty good for this. Yep, they are firmly in the lead now, phase on the force buy, so uh, seems that Fnatic may not be out of this just yet. I'm sure some Fnatic fans have their hearts in their hands at the moment, but fear not, as there can be comfort had in the by comparison and the round lead. That is a good attempt at the nade, but just a bit off the mark, so the push is coming in. Then it's trying to hold the back, but they've lost two players, already have the Fnatic side. And uh, there's no frags for Fnatic just yet as players continue to spread across the B bomb site. But now they're starting to stream in the frags for, this, for the uh, CT side. Jacob's on a max 7 and 9 HP, which is less than I feel to say the least. He's close towards the drop though, trying to take Dennis down, but got to be fearful of the Molotov as well. So Fnatic is going to back up, let things calm down, and the bomb could go down here for the T side, although AZ has to take a bit of a risk in order to collect it. And it seems we're going to have a two-man flank here, using the time afforded to them by the bomb not going down yet. Yeah, well this, I mean, giving, not like, letting up on the pressure, will that actually bite them in the backside? Because they sacrifice continued pressure to, you know, again, AZ had to go out in the open the bomb there to get this flank on. And is it going to pay off? That's a good frag. Ooh, Jacob dies as well. Now it's down to AZ with the tech nine, but they are weak. First frag found. Second one will not go the way of AZ. JW's in place, in position with his finger on the trigger. And he will win the round for his team. 14-11 for Fnatic now as FaZe will have, I mean, they can do the same buy basically, but maybe a little bit stronger with some rifles perhaps. And uh, in fact, there are more than a few rifles. There are many rifles. There are four, 
They can be an all pair if, if Fox wants to pick it up. Ooh. And he should, and he did. And he does. Now, how will FaZe handle this? They can still actually get themselves back into this one, but you can really see why it's important. it was important for FaZe to pick up T, uh, CT rounds against Fnatic on this map. They are struggling much more on their, CT, on their T side. That is for certain. For certain. Ooh, the push from Dennis once again. Getting up in that corner. Flush with the wall. It is a very dangerous spot and you must clear it. And uh, Dennis is surely going to get te checked here. Oh my god, no one's checking that position. That was so huge right there. Dennis getting two frags and a dink out of that position. That is way too much for FaZe. FaZe being massively punished. Having to bail themselves out of a horrendous situation now just by individual skill alone. Two versus two. Soon to be two versus one. The spray coming in for Kiyoshima. However, the very, very weak Fox is now eliminated. But Kiyoshima will save the day. 14 to 12, looking for the AWP. He will find it. But how did Dennis go and check there? Three players, James, moved past that position and no one checked it. And it's very common. It's a very common place for CT to stand, James. If you want to, if you want to lose that round, it's by not checking that position. <laughs> I don't know how they managed to come out of that round on top, but so they did. Two rounds behind Fnatic are now, and Fnatic are taking it very, very conservatively. Quite a bare bones eco from the CT side here. Force was very doable for them, but obviously they're going to sit on their lead and be careful and try and take it over the line. Oh, those nades doing considerable damage. They have to clear, mark this as a disaster area. So far, so good for the base team clearing out the CTs. This is nice, actually. This is really nice. Yeah, it is a bit of a non-round for the CTs here. JW, last man standing, will surely be soon to go down. Nice and methodical there from, from FaZe. They don't lose a single player, James. That's actually pretty important. Because, of, because if they want to make the comeback, it's, it's really important that if, let's say, let's say there's this round, let's say Fnatic kill four players. They want to be able to replenish with big buys, so they can't afford to, to lose anybody in this eco is just to give them the best chances in the buy rounds. And uh, they have done that. This is a very significant buy and double from the CT side of Fnatic. Double, Do two. Play. That's what that means. Does he? French in there. Well, it's a good start here. Krim's taking down Jacob and there's no response from AZ. Just about gets a trade flag eventually. And JW will take Kishima down from danger. That's going to be almost a full rotation for the CTs. And it is a worthwhile one because FaZe are all over towards the A site. But it seems they might be backing off. Three plays alive though with AZ on 3 HP. That is a bit of a disaster here for the FaZe team. I feel like the only way they win this round now, FaZe, is if AZ gets a kill here. I thought they were rotating to B and leaving AZ here to delay Ouch. rotation. But they're actually just... They're actually you know, repositioning back again into the A site. So I think they just changed their mind there. Um, after initially leave, leaving AZ, and AZ dies for free. How do they get in here? This is this is going to be tough. There's a good defensive setup coming in from the Swedish side. The Swedes, the Swedes will make mince meats of the phase boys. And Fox has got a really hard task on his hands. He'll miss the first shot. Don't think he's going to get really another chance. One HP and dead. 15-13, Fnatic look like they're going to take this to three. They look pretty good for it. They do indeed. So what could be the last buy coming out for FaZe, the FaZe clan? Jacob down to Tech 9. I'm not sure if there's a gun on the floor for him. I don't think there is. There's Rain dropped the AWP for Fox. So indeed, here we go. It's going to be Jacob on the Tech 9. The rest of the team on the AKs, the Yorp. And let's see if uh, Fnatic can hold in this round. They're going to have three towards B and two towards A. Almost a line held, being held on the A site at present. I like lines. They're yeah, good. But do you like lines when they make circles then? Well, that is the beauty of a line, James. It is adaptable. Well, all right then. So. Passive beginning from both of these teams. Two people outside the A site for phase. As per usual, this is uh, pretty much a, well, widely regarded as a standard default for T teams. 
or clans, if you will. The clans. I like I like the use of the word clan from back in the day, you know. Yep. I played in clans. I'm sure you did too. <laughs> yeah, you can say you can say that. Because these days it's teams, right? Even though it essentially means the same thing. But well, people still use the terminology like CW and PCW, which means clan war slash practice clan war and mm -hmm. stuff like that. People still use the same terminology, so that's cool. Remnants of the ways it used to be, and I don't think they'll ever really get let go. And a spot there from JW. Ooh, the pressure comes in. Oh, nice. the vertical shot. I nice. felt that one was felt head or toe to head, that one from JW. Now as Rain, Kiyoshima, and AZ look to save the day, but it is potentially going to be troublesome here. But this is a really nice situation right now. Rain able to pick up a frag with AZ, and now the favor is surely with the phase side, although JW is lurking in here with his AWP. Looking for those flicks, not really connecting with much, but here comes Crims lurking around from drop zone. Finds the first player, the spray down is real. Love the transfer there, the pre file the preemptive, uh, or the predictive transfer from Crims. Very smart. Don't see enough of stuff like that, in fact. And now the pressure's really on. Oh, JW hits the long range shot and Crims. Perfect timing there, picks up the round and the defuse comes in. Fnatic will win 16-13. I think there's a moment there where Crims maybe forgot that it was, that it was the last round as the winning round. Coming off the bomb to maybe pick up a weapon, but Fnatic, they will take it to another map, James. They, they have denied phase, the easy 2-0 upset, and they're still in it to win it. Yeah, that was good recovery from Fnatic. I did think that phase had done enough on the first half, although I, did, I was curious about how the T side would go for them, even though uh, yeah. CT side is quite difficult. I thought for phase in particular, perhaps the T side would be harder. And indeed it was. It was, uh, well, I mean, Fnatic won the map. So well played by Fnatic. The third map will be Inferno. Any last comments on Cobblestone? Uh, I feel like, as you say, you know, if you know that you have a, a weaker T side, as we real, we felt FaZe would, I think that's, that's quite predictable. That CT side's got to be strong and you got to have good decision making on it. And I, I feel like there were some rounds where they, they got a little bit crazy. Again, for me, it always comes back to that that round where they had four players and to retake the A site, which was very difficult, already, you know, they had everyone towards one choke point, which, well, you know, the balcony and the double doors. And there's no way you can get through that if there's smoke and flames down, which there was. There's five players left alive for the T side as well. So what are they, what are they trying to do there? Because they're all trying to move. I mean, if they had a, the ability to split, you can make an argument that then, okay, it works. But I think that was the greedy play that cost them because then, their money was screwed. And they, they had a really good record and, and Fnatic were really struggling at that point. There was no momentum for them. So for me, it, it always comes back to that moment. And uh, now Fnatic get to play phase on what has always been one of their favorite maps, actually, Inferno. And this is another map they've been taking victories on against everyone, so yep. it's well, really tough. One of the last times you might see Inferno for a while is coming up next, the last map in this best of three. We'll see you back here in just a few minutes.